by Mum. Hello, I'm Natalie and welcome to Made by Mum. Well, <laughs> the last day that I have off, um, I go back to work tomorrow. So I thought I'd make a video, say hi to all my new subscribers. My gosh, thank you so, so much. I am so happy. <laughs> I'm overjoyed. Thank you to all my new subs. That's brilliant. I'm sorry, my dog sat at the side of me and he's been a really big baby because he wants to be in the video and sit on my knee and he can't. <laughs> he's too big. <laughs> so I've got my little notebook down here so it's telling me what I need to speak about because <laughs> I always forget something. Always. So first thing it says is to say thank you to all my new subs. So thank you. <laughs> Um, next it says to show all my finished objects and all my whips uh, as you can see behind me I have got my big blanket that I've been making and I had the border left to do as you can see I have now done the border Let's see if I can bring it down because it's awfully big so I thought oh, I'll just stick it behind me and you can see it in the background but I do want to show it so here we go bring it over my shoulder so it's the polka dot blanket that I followed the secret yarnery for and look at that border isn't that beautiful it's gorgeous and it is so big my daughter is nearly as tall well my daughter is taller than me I'm five foot two and when she laid I laid it out on the floor on the uh, foam blocks to block it well I was going to block it but <laughs> it's that heavy it doesn't actually need it so I laid it all out on the phone blocks and my daughter laid on it. I'm stretched up, legs stretched out. And it's bigger than her. <laughs> I am so proud and happy with myself for this blanket. It is, oh, can you see that wide? So it's wide enough for a single. Yes, I haven't done any of my tails yet. They are all still out and about i have got them all to do but i was that excited i finished it i managed to get the rest of this silver yarn to finish it my dog's crying shush pooch i managed to get it done and my daughter's happy i am happy the dog's not so happy because he liked to curl up, up over it whilst i was making it so that can go back here behind me shush pooch it's a baby today What's the matter? I don't want kisses. I don't want kisses. Thank you. <laughs> oh, get back on my seat. Right, so there's that. Uh, and then in my last video, I showed, I had, where's the little tag gone for it? No, I know I didn't. There it is. I knew I kept it safe. I had the Lily Sugar and Cream in, what was the colourway? Moon Dance. Now this is what I've got left. Because I asked for inspiration. I wanted to make my daughter some soap sacks because I'd managed to get her some special soap because she suffers with psoriasis. And I was having a play. I followed Jada in stitches for one pattern. Now, unfortunately, I can't show you that one because she's actually using that one. But it was a plain... Was it a single or a... It was either a single crochet or a double crochet. And it was just a little sack. But here's another one I made. And I decided to do some front post double crochets around. And then some double crochets and then back to the front post. So you've got like a little ledge. Oh yeah, pups. Got like a little, a scrubby bit. Um, and yeah, I'm very proud of how that turned out. Very proud, a nice little hangy bit. So you can fashion your soap into it. And off it goes. The only problem, now I hadn't noticed it, my daughter showed me, is this dark blue, wrong side, <laughs> filled me, I'm sat somewhere different today, that's why it's weird. This dark blue bleeds into the white, so it changes the colour of it once it's wet, but the ink, the dye from this does not transfer onto your skin, so she didn't go to school in indigo, so that was a bonus. But there's that. I think I'm going to get some more. Because I like working with it. It was a really nice cotton to work with. Now I might have enough. Because I've come up with a bright idea. Or at least I think it's a bright idea. You've got your soap sacks. And your scrubby dish cloths. And all the rest of it. 
I'm going to make a soap, kind of like a soap sack, but bigger, and I'm going to put a sponge inside it, and fasten it up, and then it can be used for those that don't use soap, that use shower gels or shower creams and all the rest of it, so they can still use something with a scrubby effect, but they're using shower gel like my little boy who doesn't use soap because he likes to play with it and make bubbles and just waste it. So I give him a squad, a squidge of his cleany stuff on a poof. No, they're not. But a loofah. That's what they're called, a loofah. And he gives himself a wash and all the rest of it. So I'm going to try and do a sponge one for him and see, see how that works. I just don't know about using this colour. Because like I said, the dark blue bleeds. So... That's something I'm gonna have a look into. I think I've got some plain white cotton somewhere to give it a try. It's a start, it gives me something to make a start of. Mm. Cup of tea is the best. And another thing I have finished, my husband bought me some yarn. Uh, he bought me, now I've, this is what I've got left. <laughs> he bought me some of the So Crafty yarn. Look at the colour. It says po it's baby yarn, polka dot. So it's really fleecy and soft. Where's all the stuff? It says it's a chunky, recommends a size 8mm hook. What size hook did I use? I think I used a 9. Yes, I used a 9 because I used my orange one. <laughs> uh, no, 8mm needles, not hook. So it is a 9mm hook that it recommends. And this is what I've got left. I decided I got four balls of it. It comes in a pack of four. I've shown you previous videos, some of my other stuff. Sorry, it's really soft. Showed you some of my other videos of the other so crafty yarn I've got in the baby. I got it in the blue, the Copenhagen, uh, the sparkly silver one. Same yarn, soft and squishy and so nice. So that's what I've got left out of four balls. Are you ready? I made a baby blanket out of it and I am so delighted with how this turned out. Are you ready? Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? How the colours work, the polka dot, it really is a polka dot. I found it absolutely amazing and wow, what a wonderful yarn to work with. Thinking what's left with that, I was going to try and make a little teddy, but... When you've got to use a 9mm hook and you've only got that much left, I don't think it's going to work very well. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm thinking I might make a baby hat out of it and do it as a little um, collection. Is that the right word for it? A set. There you go. Make a little hat and if there's enough, because like I said, that's all I've got and I got the last packet on the shelf <laughs> and because it's from Aldi. They don't have it there constantly. It's a seasonal thing. So sometimes they'll get the yarn, sometimes they'll get paint, sometimes they'll get sewing and it's hit and miss. <laughs> but it was a good hit for me. <laughs> so I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna do a little hat and maybe some little booties, hopefully. Sorry, my nail's bending because it's getting very long. But it's my only long ones left. So yes. There it is, is it a 12 point? What's that, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. Yeah, 12 point star. Again, I followed the Jada in stitches. Tutorial for that. I will try and put a link in the description. I tried with the last one and it didn't work. <laughs> so there's that. That took me, it took me a night to make. I was so eager to use the yarn that just sat hooking away <laughs> watching TV. Well, watch, my daughter was watching one of her anime see, uh, series on TV that she enjoys, manga, anime, whatever you want to call it. And I was just sat crocheting away <laughs> and it was done. It's like, oh, <laughs> that didn't last long. So I have one more finished, one more finished object. Yes, one more finished object to show you. Now I started this not yesterday, the day before, and it is from the Crochet Crowd, Mikey. <laughs> it's a new one that's just gone up. It's the Calico Flower Tutorial. I'm gonna show you, the, oh, 
show you one end because it's massive it's a lot bigger than i thought it was going to be so there's one end okay are you ready so i haven't blocked it i've literally just finished it and started filming i used one of my line brand mandalas that i managed to get the mill end ones um it was chimera i think i'll show you it and then you can tell me in the description if i'm wrong <laughs> because <laughs> it didn't have a label because it was a mill end so <laughs> i haven't got a clue so here we go here is the first motif and then it goes on and on it's absolutely gorgeous i love the color change it's kind of subtle but kind of not but all the colors blend now i thought this color should be over my shoulder this color seemed to just go on and on and on but there is an actual color change there that i didn't notice that's what happens when you crochet under a lamp rather than in a well-lit room didn't miss any stitches though so i was happy with that and then it goes to this color and then onto orange oh not enough and on to the yellow and then it changed I did no, I still had the yellow when I came up after finishing where's the end of my motif anyhow I'd got up to doing the border that's the word and it changed there which I don't mind it still looks nice I'm not a stippler for colour changes, but I am happy with how this turned out. So happy. I don't know whether to block it because it's just a scarf. Let's see if we can get most of it in shot. There we go. Look at the colour changes. And I didn't use the whole mandala. Are you ready? I have still got that much left. I've got the Oh, I can't even see the colours. There we go. I've got the green, the blues, and a bit of the brown. Oh, there's a bit of grey in there as well. Ooh. I don't know what to do with the rest of it. Do I just wing it and play yarn chicken and just make another scarf with it? Not in the same pattern, obviously, but there's enough there to make a good size scarf for a child, maybe. <laughs> or do I play yarn chicken and try and do some gloves? Some fingerless gloves kind of a matching set same cake of yarn so yeah i'm not sure i'm thinking the fingerless gloves because it'd be nice to have a set and the colors just remind me of autumn all the different colored leaves on the tree i know we're supposed to be going into spring but <laughs> it just reminds me of autumn and i love it and it's big are you ready look it's huge there's tons let's see if i can show you look that's gone round twice let me see if i can move you out a little bit hang on oh sorry for the wobble look at that there's loads of scarf there loads and it's quite a way down get the hair out of the way i love it it's so soft and that's without blocking it can you imagine if i block it it's going to be even bigger <laughs> even longer and even softer wow ah oh, that doesn't help don't catch your glasses whilst you're taking a scarf off from the top of your head it doesn't work so there's the calico flower scarf from my keep the crochet crowd i shall again attempt to put a link in the description Cross your fingers, guys, because it's not very successful for me because I'm a klutz. I really am. So, that's all my finished objects. I'm chucking my labels. Hang on. There we go. So, there's the finished objects. Let's bring you back. Sorry for the wobble. There we go. We're back. Now, I have got two whips because I have been working over these two weeks because it's been the school holidays so I've been off work because I work in the school we've had two weeks off for the Easter and I have been working so hard 
to get all my whips into fours, which I managed to do. The big one was the blanket. The other ones I've just shown you weren't actually whips. <laughs> they were just new projects. And I got them done, so it was good. I got them done in one sitting. Um, now, I've shown you, I did pick up my knitting needles, and I'm using the, ooh, Aishan's Cakes Baby. There's no colourway. It's a number, I think. I'm not sure. It doesn't actually say on it. I'm not sure. But again, I will try and put a link in the description below. It's so pretty. It's just... It smells. <laughs> it's the only... Yarn that I have got from Ice Yarns that smells. It smells stored. And as I said in previous videos, I'm going to going to attempt to do a wet block. Never done it, but if it gets the smell out of this project, <laughs> I'm willing to try anything. So I picked up my knitting needles. The not so straight ones like I showed you before. <laughs> And I decided I was going to give knitting a go again. It's been a couple of years. Picked up a crochet hook and not picked the needles up since. And I decided I was going to make a triangle scarf. And I'm doing it. <laughs> Are you ready? Look. Look at that. I don't want to knock my stitches off because it's actually quite wide now. So all my stitches are getting bunched up. So there's hair. You get a free hair with this one. <laughs> so that's my first colour. And then it changed into this colour. And I have just started on my third colour. And it is lovely. There's like little eyelets all the way down this edge. Which I'm presuming is the inside edge. I'd have thought the eyelets might have gone on the outside edge. But it might look on the in nice on the inside edge. So yeah. There's that. I've not really worked on this. I've been <laughs> doing other stuff. But there has been a reason I've not worked on this, which I shall tell you in a moment. Because it's down on my list. <laughs> so, there's the knitting. I will have to pick it back up again at some point soon. And get this finished. It seems to be a chore. That's my problem. It's a chore to do the knitting because I enjoy the crochet. I enjoy the hook. <laughs> So, the other project, my one and final whip, is, yes, it's these colours. It's for the dress that I was going to make. It's the uh, reggae Jamaican colours, however you want to say it. And I have started on the top half of the dress. Now, I couldn't find an actual dress pattern that I liked. I didn't think it'd work with the yarn that I was, or the colours I was using. I wanted to do um, like a, a ripple zigzag type stitch, but a big, big one. So you only had like four points, but I didn't want it square. Because, <laughs> you know, I'm awkward and that's just me. So I followed a pattern for a crop top. Now, it's supposed to go this way. Okay. And then these bits wrap around. I didn't like that idea. So I changed it. I turned it. Are you ready? Oh, let's see if I can sit forward a bit. Move you back a bit. Ooh, don't chuck that because that's something else to show. So I'm doing it like that instead. So it fastens off the shoulder, comes down. And yes, it's tiny on the waist, but it's going to... Oh, going to become bigger I'm going to get make another one as a back panel and then I'm going to do like a zigzag like a weave type thing down the side and fasten it over the shoulder so it kind of goes off the shoulder but on the shoulder leave a little gap at the bottom here and then it's going to attach to the skirt <laughs> which is going to come to mid thigh I'm hoping that's the idea anyway so I've got the front and I started on the back excuse the tails because like I say it is a work in progress so I'm liking I'm really enjoying this pattern 
that I'm <laughs> kind of following but kind of not at the same time. Um, I can't even remember who I followed for the pattern of the top, for the crop top, I can't remember. I'll have a look and I will try and put the link in the description box below. So there's that. I love how the colours have worked. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? I'm so happy. The woman, the woman I'm making this dress for knows nothing of how the colours are going together. She just knows. She picked the colours and she said, your choice. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm really hoping she's going to be proud. I've got all her measurements and everything. So... Give it a measure, it's working so far. It's measuring up to where it needs to be. I'll move my cushion back. Cushion for the back. Right, so that's, sorry, I've got my book on the arm of the uh, couch. <laughs> that's the furs and the whips. Ah, the new stuff. <laughs> so as you know, I got one of these from Wish and it's soft, but there wasn't, as you can see, there isn't a lot there. I guess at 50 grams, if that, maybe maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less, I'm not sure. And I said I was going to order some more to make a shawl. Now, I was having a play with this, that's why it's all caked up. <laughs> and this yarn's actually self-pooling yarn. So I might change my mind from the shawl and make a self-pooling scarf because my other two have turned up. <laughs> so I love how the colours go. And then let's pop them open. So there's that one. And I love the colours of them. And where they... I'll be able to show you in a second. Look, where they go into the next colour, so you've got your purple and your yellow, look at the in between your bits. And then the same for the yellow into the blue. Look at that green, isn't that gorgeous? Sorry, bright light, see if I can, ha ha. There we go, kind of. Look at that green, isn't that beautiful? So, I got two more. I'm going to cake them up like the other one. And I'm going to have a play and see if they actually are self-pooling. They seemed it because the changes between... Let me have a look. They are quite short. So there's your purple. That's not a lot. There's your blue. Sorry, too far away. Let's bring you closer. Oop, sorry. <laughs> Messages. So there's your blue, only a little amount there, tiny little section of green, and then, oh, this is going to fall off my knee in a minute. <laughs> and then we're back into the yellow, and well, we're on to the yellow, and then back into the purple. So I'm guessing this is a self-pooling yarn. I'm going to give it a go, I'm going to see what happens, and I shall let you know. So, I got another two hanks, which are going to get caked up and my god what a nightmare it was to cake a hank when you haven't got one of those circular devices to put your hank on to <laughs> have you ever got a child to stand there like that and then nudge their hands <laughs> just so it unwinds <laughs> i remember my mum getting me to stand there hold of it while she caked up uh, balled up a yarn a ball of yarn when she was knitting i'm not putting my kids through that not for two i'll just don't know what I'll do. <laughs> Handball it from sat down and then cake it up afterwards, I think. I'm not sure. So I got another two of them and my I broke my scissors. I I got my emergency set, but I broke the handle. I had a pair of do you remember the tortoise shell rim glasses and the colouring that they used to be? I had some scissors like that and I broke it. I don't know what I did, but I broke the handle, so I'm on my emergency pair. So I thought, oh, treat myself. Look at those, aren't they gorgeous? I love the green and the blue. Look at the patterning. I don't know whether that's going to show. Let's have a look. Look at the detail and the patterning on that. Oh, come on, focus. Be nice. 
so much detail on that. It's unreal. And it goes to the handle too. Can you see? I'm not sure whether you can see, but the colours on it are amazing. Love them. So yes, I got myself some new scissors. And I thought, well, I don't actually have any project bags. And I watch The Proper Pineapple and Debbie from the Canadian Crotcheter. Their bags that they have shown, my gosh, they are gorgeous. So I was looking online and I thought, well, that's not really a project bag. But I loved it anyway. Are you ready? This is the cutest thing and I am so glad I got it. Are you ready? Look at that! So you've got your T-Rex, you've got your Triceratops, and I'm trying to see so I can show, uh, tell you what they are. You've got the red one, <laughs> and you've got a blue one. <laughs> Aren't they gorgeous? I love it. And it's a drawstring bag, so I can stick it on my back, and off I go. <laughs> I love it. It's I am so happy with it. I just need a project small enough to put in it because it's not very big. Oh, hang on. Oh, there we go. Oh, look at that. I'm going to put this yarn in there. And this is going to be my project bag for that. There we go. And that's with three, well, two hanks and one cake. And there's loads of room in there for that. It's, and it's, as you can hear, sorry for the crinkling, it's, it's a sturdy waterproof bag. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, there's my acquisitions. So there's all that. Make a bit of room. That can go back over there. Move them over there. I've got a chair sat there. <laughs> so that's all that. And I don't know whether I mentioned it last week. Oh, my last video. It's a cup of tea, sorry. But... What do you do with your tail ends? Ah, my blanket's behind me. Oh, all these bits, all your tails and what do you do? Do you stick them in a glass jar and display them, which I've seen some people do? Do you just throw them in the bin? Let's see what I do. Look, I kind of throw them in a bin, but it's a special bin. This is my bin. It's just a little one. It doesn't need to be big. Let's take the lid off and I'll show you, shall I? Oh, no, the lid don't. There we go. In here, I have got... Look at all them yarn ends. Little bits of yarn that just aren't big enough to make anything. Scraps. Make a pom-pom, it gets chopped into here. And with all this, look at that. So much and there's so many different colours ends of stuff that are really rough that I'm not going to use on anything and it goes and what I'm going to do with this on my colourful scraps I'm going to brush it out I'm going to turn it into fur is that the right word for it? I'm not sure but I'm going to try my hand at spinning my own yarn so in this bin, it's pretty full, but if I give it a squish down, <laughs> there's still room in there. And I'm going to take all the yarn in here when it's full. I'm going to pop it into a bag, store it properly. And at the end of the year, so December, let's see what date. Let's have, off the top of my head, let's do it for the 30th of December. I shall come back, I will show you how much I have got scrap wise and then I'm going to start spinning and turning it into my own yarn and then once I've done that I'm going to make something out of it depending on how much I have it's either going to be a scarf or a shawl or if I have that much because <laughs> there's a lot of tails on here and a lot of scrap bits of yarn I've got lying around it's all going to go in and 
I'm gonna make something out of it and I can say it is 100% made by mum. The yarn, <laughs> the project, <laughs> all of it. And then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it after that. And that's a to be continued thought. <laughs> so that's what I do with my tails. So there's one new adventure and pop that down here where it belongs because I've got a nice little place for it so it doesn't get thrown out because my husband likes to just throw everything that isn't necessary but he doesn't realise that's very necessary. So I've talked about my tail ends and what I do. New adventures. Mm. Well, I've just told you about one. I'm going to learn how to spin my own yarn <laughs> and make something from it. The other one is, don't knock my tripod, please, buddy. What's the matter? Sorry, my little boy's in the room with me. <laughs> What's the matter? So long as you're quiet. Right, off you go. Sorry, guys. <laughs> he decided to lay underneath my camera to talk to me. <laughs> yes, you can. Where was I? New adventures, yes. So I've told you about the spinning of the yarn that I want to do. Now, the other adventure I am going on, I can't buy yarn for a long time because the adventure I have decided I'm going to do so I can go further and further afield for my yarn, I'm learning how to drive. Ah! <laughs> I'm so nervous. I'm just waiting on my provisional license to come back through the post and I can't spend the money on the yarn anymore because he's got to pay for the lessons. <laughs> but once I have passed my test, hopefully within the year, <laughs> <coughs> sorry, once I have passed my test, I can then go to craft fairs. I can sell the stuff I make, my teddies, my blankets, my shawls, all of it, I'm going to, I'm aiming to be driving by the end of the year so I can go to one of the Christmas craft fairs I have found around where I live in England. It's about 17 miles away, so it's not that far. Um, I live in a town called Scarborough and it's, I think it's one town up the coast. At Whitby so there's a big um, craft fair but then once I've done that I can start selling further afield and if I become established and it does well I'll do it again next year so at the moment I am busting through my stash some rotten I'm not buying any more yarn so the mandalas I've just bought that's my lot that's all I get to try <laughs> Um, so yeah, busting through my stash, so come Christmas, <laughs> guess what I'm going to be buying? <laughs> I'm going to seriously treat myself and I am going to go mental, the money I'm going to have saved from not buying yet. <laughs> Alright, it's going on to paying for car le for lessons and driving lessons and whatnot and that's all fair and well, but then all the stuff I make, because I have actually just been commissioned to make two more Snuggies. If you remember the um, Umpa Lumpa Snuggie I showed, I've been uh, got an order for another two. And because I couldn't find that anywhere, that's actually my personal pattern that I have made myself. I have never felt so accomplished ever, other than my children, of course. But, yeah. <laughs> um making a splash as <laughs> to say i'm getting there um i've got to take time out every now and again so i do pick a book up every now and again <laughs> i enjoy reading but then who doesn't it's a world away from the world you live in you open your mind up so much um what else does it say on my list yes i have also been sorting out my dog's crying again <laughs> i've also been sorting out for a charity crochet knit project um i want to make little hats and other things i'm not sure what else they'll accept up at the hospital for the premature and newborn babies because there is a new rule 
that I've only just found out. Babies aren't allowed out of the hospital without a hat. So I'm going to hire out our community centre from where I live. Don't knock my camera pooch. Come round here, baby. Sorry, he's been a really big baby. Come here, pooch. Good boy. He's sitting over there. Oh, he's an old man. He really is. <laughs> he might pop into the screen in a minute. As you can hear, he's been a big boo. What's the matter, Booch? Here we go, look. He comes say hello. Oh, my baby. Oh, my baby. <laughs> Lay down. Good boy. You sit with mummies. Good lad. Right. Where was we? Ah, yes. Making hats and stuff for premature and newborn babies. Um, I'm going to hire out the community centre where I live. It's literally a two-minute walk from where I live. It's really close, so it's easy accessible. Um... There's parking, so <laughs> that's another thing. If people are travelling from a couple of, from like 20 minutes away or so, there is room to park. It's a really big space. I will try and film if everybody is up for it. If not, all I can do is just tell you and take some pictures and let you know how it all goes. Um, I'm aiming for that to happen next month, so fingers crossed. <laughs> I need to find out the availability of the community centre and get some posters done and some advertisement, get it all up out there. Um, I, I'm going to provide some yarn, gets rid of some of my stash, <laughs> but not all of it. So if you do watch my channel and you are from Scarborough <laughs> and you wish to join in you can email me my email address will be in the comments below no it'll be in the description below um it's let me think can I remember it off by heart <laughs> made by mum 2019 at outlook.com so you can email me and you can get details that way um otherwise just keep a look out I shall put it up on my Instagram again I shall leave a link in the description below for my Instagram page uh, you can follow on there definitely going to be posting pictures I'll provide patterns if you don't have any if you have your own preferred pattern that you like to work with absolutely you can use it that's great I shall do another video more about it um, with all the details and everything closer to the time so is that everything i think that is everything so again i'd like to thank all my new subscribers you are amazing people thank you so much i have got very close to having 50 subscribers now <laughs> yay not bad for a few mon months work <laughs> so when i hit 50 subs since you have lasted this long into the video and i've just realized how long this video is and all my rambling i am going to do a giveaway when i hit 50 subs yay and it is open worldwide from the get-go because why just stick to the UK? We're just a little island. I want everybody to be involved. It's not going to be huge. I've not sorted it all out yet. <laughs> so, got a, got a little while yet. Um, I will do another video, but it will not be labelled giveaway. So, you're just going to have to watch and see. <laughs> so, yeah, when I hit 50 scrub, scrubs, no, subs... <laughs> When I hit 50 subs, I am going to do a giveaway. So keep your eyes open. And I think that's about everything. Let's have a look at my list. That's what I'm reading at the minute. I'm showing you my whips and my foes, my new stuff. Uh, I told you about my tail ends and that new adventure. My other adventures and a giveaway. So I think that's everything. Um, I got my pooch on my knee, <laughs> kind of. He's kind of laid right over me. Um, I think that's everything. So, yeah. Enjoy what's left of your Easter holiday if you have not gone back yet, which you probably will have by the time this goes up. Um, and, yeah, just have fun. Keep working with your magic wands. <laughs> and I shall see you all again as soon. So, bye.